Hi there guys, welcome to another video. Today, this is the one that you have all been waiting for. Today, we're gonna settle the supermarket Dad. war. Dad. She's got pockets. Today we're going to settle the supermarket war, we're going to see whose is the best in Australia and we are going to go to Coles. My name's Ross and recently I moved from the UK to Australia with my family to start a better life. Our channel is all about moving to Australia, showing you the Australian lifestyle with the hope of inspiring and encouraging you to make the move yourself. So for the last few weeks, we have literally eaten all of the food in the house. There's nothing left. I think I've got like an onion and a zucchini or a courgette. I'm actually becoming more Australian than not courgettes anymore. So the cupboards are bare. We're gonna go to Coles and we're gonna pretty much buy everything. Dad. All right. I think Pocket Girl is ready to go. So are you ready, Manf? Yeah. Mamp's ready, I'm ready. Yeah, this thing is ready. Mamp can't find her shoes. When we found her shoes, we're off. Uh, do you do a, tw is it a 20 pack of nuggets? Yeah, we do the 3, 6, 10, 20 or 24. What's the difference in price between a 20 and a 24? The 20 is 13.35 and the 24 is 11.95. Well, I'll have the 11.95 on them, please. Yeah, the sweet and sour sauce and the nuggets. Sorry? The sweet and sour sauce and the nuggets. Uh, ketchup instead, so yeah, tomato yeah. sauce. No, that's everything, thank you. Perfect, you're good to start with. Cheers. Why is the bigger one cheaper? Hey, baby, see you later. No worries, thank you. How many have we got? 24. Mm. 24. Gotta go for a Macca's one, because I'm starving. Great stuff, thank you. Cheers. Right, back from shopping. Do you feel less hungry now? Yeah. I hate shopping on a hungry stomach. Yeah. I've definitely bought some things that I probably shouldn't have done had I not been on a hungriness. Hangry is a problem. Right, uh, let's go. Okay, Coles. Chicken breast schnitzels, these are easy, 5.25. I found in Coles, I think there's more stuff kind of going out, like fresh stuff, that if you're happy with the lack of sell-by date, I think Coles is the best one out of the three. Okay. Aldi, there's like yeah. never anything. Um, and what is, mm, but I think they must do theirs later. Considering yeah. we did this in the morning, there was loads of stuff in there. Australian beef mints, I've got two of these. Again, these are easy, 12 bucks each, 12 a kilo. Still on the old three star kick. I don't know. I don't mind a little bit of fattiness. Potato Royals, sometimes called jewels, sometimes called gems. We sat there for a couple of minutes deciding whether these yeah. were actually the right ones. How much were they? Frozen yeah. potato. 290. 290 for That's some gems. Right. Yeah. I think we're talking about like a couple of cents here and there. Yeah. Which I know over the whole course of it will add up in a shop. And it's it saves us going to different shops. You know, if we go to Aldi, we don't get everything, so we have to go to Coles or yeah. Woolies anyway. Yeah, the, the, the money that we probably <coughs> save, we don't have to spend on petrol getting to the next shop. And it comes down to convenience, I think. Uh, another one that was on the spare or going off. Organic lamb meatballs on the organic train, even though Kind of, we've got to eat it soon or at least put it in the freezer. 650, four meatballs. Gnocchi, don't know why that's in the cold one. I you think that's three it. bucks. No, oh, I don't. No. I didn't, because in Woolies uh, and in Coles, I didn't think so. I thought in Coles they didn't pack it. No, but they do. They do. Oh, okay. Although she looks at me weird when I give her the IKEA bags to kind of put stuff in. <laughs> three bucks for the gnocchi. Baby peas, petit pois. Cause yeah. Mouth is posh and she doesn't like 170. Regular. 170 for those. Cookies. Chopped spinach. Oh. I couldn't find like their own one, so we're going oh, branded today. Chopped spinach, 180. 180. Just good to That's stick not in too bad. Mm. Not bad uh, oh. Cumberland oh. British, British sausages, sausages apparently. Our quest for sausages may have come to an end. But it's fine because it's the British one and it's got British and Australian, so 750 each. 750 each. I think though those okay, were Okay, two for twelve. Two for twelve bucks. So a buck a sausage. We'll have to have bangs and mashes so we can see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Which one should we try first? It's gotta be the Cumberland ones, isn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't say like red caramelised onion, although it sounds nice. <coughs> it's like 
Cumberland or Lincolnshire. I can never remember which one we actually prefer. Yeah. So let's, fingers crossed it's Cumberland. Milk, staple. I'm gonna guess and say like 380, because they're pretty much always 380. It's really free, isn't it? 380 or 390, not quite Doing four bucks. 359. 359, oh, I could even be the cheap. <laughs> uh, just oh, okay. grated cheese, pizza one, because I've got some pizza stuff today. Spoiler alert. Mm, shredded pizza, that one? Yeah. Seven, okay. 770? No, but the thing is, it's 700 grams, and I did actually look at the price per cheese and how much they charge us for the privilege of shredding it for us. It was like 10 cents in it, okay. so. But I know, we've had this discussion about cheese. And it's not mature cheddar. But when you're like sprinkling it on something and it's gonna melt anyway, yeah. we're not, I'm not that fussed. But it's not for Aurora anyway. And, and actually I find that because we like the mature stuff that's got the, like if you're just eating the cheese on its own, we prefer the mature. But when you put that on like a pizza and then you wanna go for that cheese pull, doesn't have it. Yeah. It's like disappointing. <laughs> Thickened cream. 190. Yeah, in case I want to make some butter chicken or something. Breadable cream cheese. I'm going to try and put these on some crackers for Aurora and Sydney. 275. Well, she used 275. to eat cream cheese. Yeah, she used to eat a lot of things. <coughs> now all she wants to eat is fairy bread, like Rice crispy Squares. Oh, she didn't even eat all of that, did she? Oh, she did. She was going to not eat it, and then I ate a bit, and then that made her want to eat the rest of it. Oh, okay. Olive oil spread, because trying to keep her heart healthy. That? No, I think I used it. I made oh, so much toast this day. Spread there it Two is. Bucks. 275. 275. And then ice cream. Ice cream. Vanilla. 275. 275 as well. How are those both 275? Right, as if by magic, it's all gonna disappear. Speaking of IKEA bag, we still need to get like some better bags. Okay. Oh, Where the hell are these? Oh I just saw them and they're only 50 cents. Happy New Year. <laughs> Well, I just thought, you know, if we go to a party or we have some friends at New Year, then I've got... I'm not yeah. wearing this to a party. Yeah, because there's, there's two. There's four in. We've got four. A party Happy New Year, then. Or New Year. Happy New Year. Thank God, they're in. Yeah. Perry bread, puffed rice bars, basically rice crispy squares. She That's wanted like the seven buck ones in her life, so I qu quickly like changed them over and that was like oh. one something. Seven dollar crispy squares. Here it is. No, or two fifty, oh, six okay. pack. She's gonna be terrible on the impulse wives. It's, it's already starting. All the pretty pink stuff like these. Oh, she likes these. Straight away. Yeah, she does actually quite like these. Yeah. She's new finished her ones. They lasted about two bucks. Two, they're two bucks. Two bucks. And she thinks she's having two at a time, but she's not. She's just having one and I'm breaking it in half and she's not noticing. Bad parents are bad. Yeah. Juice oh, or squash. Was it on special? Yeah, still three bucks. Is it three bucks, yeah. Surely that's got to be like against trading standards. Golden is... Circle Cordial, that one? Yeah. yeah. It's always on three dollars. Yeah. I know the day is going to come when it's not three dollars oh, so I'm just going to fade. Boring orange. I quite like boring orange sometimes. Okay. Strawberry topping. Ooh la la. Mm. Topping strawberry, 265. 265. <coughs> now. What is this? Passion fruit pulp. What the hell is that? It's passion fruit pulp. What's pulp? Pulp is like ground up, well, no, not ground up. Do you grind up passion fruit? It's all like mashed up. Basically, I'm making you some porn star martinis. Oh, are you? Yeah, that's okay. the like vodka, passion fruit. What, are you gonna put that in it? I'm gonna try. Oh. It's, it's either that, or it's I literally get my own passion fruits and like mash them up, blah, blah, blah. But is my- Is it all bitty? Like bits? Well, there are bits in passion oh, fruits, isn't there, aren't there? Okay. But my theory is I'm gonna put those into like ice cube trays and like freeze an ice cubes worth so that when I put it in the cocktail shaker with the vodka and the passion fruit liqueur and stuff, it all melts rather than having to put my own ice in there. So it'll chill it down and passion fruit it up. The stuff's in the recipe anyway. I love a porn star martini just as much as the next person. Okay, cool. I, th I thought you'd appreciate it. Yeah. You're so appreciative. I can't even find it. Uh, I think it's like 150. Oh, there it is. 150, yeah. 150, yeah. So that should probably make at least four or five ice cubes, I reckon. Six, maybe. Passatas. Italian passata. 310, Three. but you've got two for 155 yeah, 155 each. each. Mushrooms. Oh. The great divider. <laughs> we can't find cheap mushrooms Any. for love nor money. But these, I think it must be the time of the year. Don't try and get mushrooms in the summer because they're like 10 bucks. For the for a pint of like five hundred grams. You get frozen ones. Can you get frozen ones here? You probably get frozen sliced ones. Or um, for like convenience. Or tin tinned ones. Yeah. 
but freshies this week, I think these were six dollars. Uh, yeah. yeah. Six dollars. So oh, winter know. is the season for mushrooms. Australian cherry tomatoes, those are cheap. What? You don't like cherry tomatoes? Yeah, but I'm making like a chicken palmy oh, no. pasta thing. It's like a chicken palmy, but in a pasta bake type thing. I don't want to say pasta bake like it's a bad thing. It's all got fresh stuff and the recipe. 2.50. The recipe called for them, so I don't mind if they're cooked. I like, I don't like. Comment down below, are you a person that can eat tomatoes raw? Yeah, that has to be cooked. I suppose it's weird though, because some Australians also eat mushrooms raw. Yeah. Weird. Juice the little girl if we're out, and then watch her literally ride the sugar rush. I think they were two something. 265. 265. I've got the topical this time, I don't know how she's going to be about topical, but. Change of life. Oh, I'll try it. Wraps. I think they're four. Whoa. I spent a long time looking at wraps. Longer than anyone should have to look at wraps. Just to basically save a dollar. <laughs> Helga's whole grain. Four. Okay. Helga's. Helga. The cold ones were like tiny and I, I hate little wraps. And pizza bases for the pizza. I want to say two something. No, that's um, the TR crown pack. pack. That's mm. the happy new year. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, thin and crispy. Thin and crispy, that one. Three, yeah? yeah? Three bucks. Sweet. Magic again. Right. Two for one. Bread. Bread. 130. Yep. I've been doing this so long, I literally know all the prices now. <gasps> Treat, this is this is our hungry purchase. Mm. Tim Tams. Double coat. I went for double coat and then you can choose, so I went for the white chocolate ones as well. I don't you like the white chocolate ones with I think we've I think we've had all of them. No, we haven't. Oh, I'm half then. Tip note. Oh, I want to say they were two for six bucks. Well, they were two for something. There you go. Oh, that's Tim Tams. Two for six bucks. Yeah. But at least... I, I think of... we had the double one as well. I think you picked two, two of the ones that we've actually already well, Maybe had. they're my favourite ones and I like eating my favourite stuff. Is that alright? <laughs> Uh, OT slices? Oh, they're for me. I like them. Right. They were on Spursh. There you go. Mother Earth, OT slices. Yeah. Three bucks. Shells this week. I can't remember the last time I've had shells. Shells, a dollar. Shells was always like something that I could 500. go and eat around someone else's house. And I'd feel bad that we'd never have shells. So, living my shoulders. Oh, it's been a hard week. Gin tonic. I think they were a dollar. Yeah, I think they were as well. Tonic water, yeah. Yeah. Later in a bit. What's that? Dark Smiles. 60 cents. Yeah. What's this? Oh, yeah, it's like Horlicks. Malted I mean, milk. Trying to find Horlicks. I do like a Horlicks. Why don't you just get Horlicks? They don't have Horlicks here. Malted milk is. That was seven. Seven oh, yeah. bucks? I know. To be fair, the amount you have Horlicks, that's going to last a while. Yeah, I only have it now and again. Coffee. Now, I know you're getting snobby, but oh. I keep hearing this urban coffee culture advert for Coles Coffee on the telly. Mm -hmm. Not on the telly, on, on, on who watches Australian telly? On the radio. That was $4.50. Oh, that's not bad. Just as a kind of a standard one. And if you go into a, like a Coles servo, I can't remember, is it Shell that does it? That's the one that they serve in their like coffee machines. So I think I've had one of them before because they're like a dollar or something. I'm hoping it's going to be all right, but Aussie coffee is actually pretty decent. So even if you go with the cheap stuff, it's not actually that bad. Oh, and then did another you see one. These yeah. Well, it said extreme sour. Extreme. And I love fizzy lollies. Do I dare say lollies? I love fizzy sweet. So uh, two dollars. Two bucks for them. I want to see how fizzy sour they are. Yeah. Sure. Are you sure. We got to give one to Aurora if they're that sour. Uh, Just so I can got something to laugh at. Ah. I've buckled. I have said before that I don't like non-matching cups, but we got one of these when we first moved here and for I For me, for me for me for my cup of soup and I quite like of an evening having like a peppermint or a chamomile tea in here and um I got the envy. And I, I keep jealous. looking for it and it's not in the cupboard. So we've got a boy coloured one. Yeah. So how much were those? I think they are a nice big cup. They're like coffee shop cups. I think that it was four, yeah, teal soup mug. Good. Four. Yeah. And now that we've got the fancy coffee machine for your, for Christmas for you, which you don't know how to use, but I that always have to use it. But that that was the first time I had one this morning in God knows how long. Alright, Jessie. You actually made me a busy person. You can make your own. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. Uh, broccolini. Oh, that looks a bit fancy. 
fancy. I heard someone the other day call broccoli broccoli. Broccoli, yes. Mate, what? <laughs> I was it was on ad it was on an advert. It was on a national advert. How do they let them pronounce it on a national advert like that? And I was driving and I swear I nearly crashed my car. <laughs> I was about to turn the corner, someone on the radio says broccoli, and I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Three. Three bucks. Yeah. So if that's broccoli, is that broccolini? Well. Rather than broccolini. Broccolini. Wow. Mate, that's mental. But where do we get broccoli from? That doesn't even. Oh no, it's spelt different, isn't it, in England? Is it spelt different? No, that's broccolini. Broccoli's like the big trees. This is like the baby trees. Oh. oh okay. Mate, every day is a school day for you. Yeah. Avos. They were a buck each. Well, that's why yeah. I got them. Because normally they're like three bucks each, yeah. and I was like, yeah. It's on special. Winter seems to be the season for something. A big green valley bean. back of green beans. The that only on. bean I will eat yeah. is a green bean. Yeah. So we have to get green beans a bit more often, I think. I think they are on special as well. They were, that's why I said green beans. There we go, 3 90 for a big bag of beans. Parmesan cheese. Okay. Just because sometimes it's easier to add to things than grating up cheese. <laughs> Sprinkle, like MSG. That wasn't a lot, I want to say one. Yeah, there you go. Chicken palmy cheese, chicken palmy. Coles palmy cheese, 160. Uh, capsicums, <laughs> red peppers, 590 a kilo, so 331. I'm, I'm used now to everything yeah, being in kilos. Like but it's the consistency, that, that's what we've got now, so that's what I always look at. I don't know, is it easy to gauge prices because it's always in per kilo, regardless of how much of it you get? Uh, nannies. Bananas, here we go. Four bucks a kilo, 362. Four bucks, I want to say, is a little bit more expensive. Mm. Might be out of season. Carrots. Yeah, but that's like one of the only fruit that we'll eat a bit of, so we that's have to That's the difference though with coals and woolies, you don't get a free nana going around. Oh, yeah. And she normally only eats half and then I eat the rest of it, so I'll get my fruit in too, because we're yeah. so Don't tell the Woolies people, because they'll stop doing it. Carrots, $2. Two bucks. Jazz apples, because they're not too jazzy for me. Two ninety seven. Yeah, $2.97. Basically like Brave Ones, that'll do. And then Aurora decided that we should get some watermelon. She even picked it up herself. Yeah. Not a whole one though. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine for that one. Right. Poofy poofy. Oh, let's just do the last one. The last bit. Taters. Kestrel potato. Kestrel. Seven. Seven bucks. Yeah, oh. it's two kilos though. That's a lot. Still on special, the Red Rock Deli. Mm. Quite possibly the best crisps in the world. Two for six. Two for 4.65. No, two for seven. Oh, sorry. They're normally 4.65. Oh, yeah. Two for two seven for bucks. Seven. Zanny sheets. I don't like the lasagna sheets in Aldi. Like the UK lasagna sheets come in this size and in Aldi they come in like a more square size and it freaks me out. 170? 170. Skittles. Oh yeah, woohoo! I love these uh, hand purchase. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. I know. Yeah, on the bottom. Where? 225. Okay, yeah, they were on offer. Okay, cold slurry mix. I quite like putting coleslaw in wraps now, just because of the crunch. Two seventy-five. Two seventy-five. Grains. Oh, they're cheeky mothers. Oh, I guess I've read the wrong thing. Yeah, you have. That's the cream spread. Oh, sorry. Coleslaw. Yeah, two Three. bucks. Oh, sorry. Not cheeky mothers. Oh yeah, these were nice. I had these at a client's house the other day. They're a bit but eating your client's food. Yeah. You didn't get paid enough. Light bulb, because one of the light bulbs went. A light bulb. A G10 240 bulb bulb. That was 10 bucks. Mate, the next time one of those light bulbs goes, I'm going to absolutely cry. It was just going to not turn on and oh, tears. Yeah. Globe oh, no, LED. Yeah. I know these last forever. 10 bucks. But Jeez. I don't really like that light fixture anyway, so we're going to have to get a new one. But I still want to keep the light bulb because it's so expensive. Little nans for the curries. I'm struggling to find a decent curry. 250. 250. Struggling to find a decent curry in Australia, so I'm turning into a curry chef type of person Ooh. trying to cook it all at home. Sorry about that, that was, oh, was a hard shot. It was, it was. How expensive was the shot, man? 
it was a whopping $203.53. $203. We saved 12 pounds, sorry, $12.30. But we did get a lot, yeah. we did get meat. And our weekly budget for food is still at the 150 mark, but we don't shop every week. No, we so don't need shopping, like proper shopping, shopping. Yeah, we'll, we'll do for fresh stuff in the week every now and again, just to top up if we need things, and then we'll do a bigger shop every two weeks. So it's still with it, well within the kind of budget. But which one is your favourite now? Aldi, Coles, all of these. Not Aldi. Nah. Gone off Audi too. Yeah. I, I like both Coles and Woolies really. Like you said, that you maybe get more deals in Coles, but I like both. Woolies is the closer one for it's us. Closest, yeah. And I'm not turned off by Woolies enough to say nah. But I, I like being able to go between. I like the variety. Mm. There's one thing in Australia that they don't really have from a shopping perspective is the variety. It's Coles, Woolies, and then if you want to spend 30 minutes looking in the middle section of the aisles, then you go to Aldi. It's enough variety that makes us want to kind of go around the few for the, for the few bits that we like. But if I had to place one on the one that is my favourite, Woolies. Yeah, I think so, for me as well. Yeah, I'm going to say Woolies. But they say that's the most expensive one, though. I don't know if it is. But we You're do have to go to Aldi sometimes because Aurora only eats the Aldi pumpkin soup. Oh, she, yeah, she's a snob. She's an absolute snob. Right, on that note, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a like. If you want to have a look at the rest of our channel, have a look at us moving to Australia, please make sure to have a look at our channel. And uh, if that's something you're into, please consider subscribing. But until the next time, thank you very much for watching. See you soon.